Ren, don't sit out here feeling sorry for yourself. That won't solve anything. It's pointless. Hey, what was that for? Look, I heard the whole story. I know when push came to shove, you abandoned that girl. Abandon her? You let them take Ayumi right out of your hands and you didn't do anything about it. In my book, that's called abandoning someone. No, that's not what I meant to do. Then what did you mean to do? I, I didn't have a choice. I had to let them take her. She's the master of the ceremony. That's the only reason she was created. She has to sacrifice her life to keep us safe. If she doesn't go through with it, then everyone will be in danger. There's nothing I can do to save her. I can't even believe what I'm hearing right now. You and Ayumi became close friends, am I right? They took your friend away from you, Ren. Are you sure that's something you can live with? Now come on, you've got to do something. She means more to me than anything else in the world. But still, there's nothing I can do. Or is there? I could rescue her, but then the grand ceremony will fail and the beast will be set free. I can't let that happen. That's not what Ayumi wants. She made a decision. I have to respect it. She's gonna sacrifice her life. Think, Ren. What do you want? Well, I... I think... What I want more than anything is... I want... I really want to see Ayumi one last time. I want to apologize to her for the way things went. I want her to know how much she means to me. I just need to tell her how I feel. That's more like it. Let's go. <laughs> We'd better hurry if we're gonna make it. I'll be beside you every step of the way. I want you to know I'm really proud of you. Thanks, Ayano. But I need to be perfectly clear about one thing. We're only there to apologize to Ayumi, not to interfere. Right. <laughs>